The blackened trees along the Sterling Highway bring home the destructive power of a wildfire. Firefighters remain hard at work removing trees, limbs, and chipping brush to protect the community of Cooper Landing. We can't do um, what you haven't done in 20 years in two hours. So as much as the resident can do, the, the responsibility that, that they can take to clear their land um, and make it safe from fire, that's really what we're looking for. Brad and Ann Hansen actually began to firewise their Cooper Landing home and property last year. The firewise took precedence in our thought at first. Uh, we wanted to protect from fire. After we finished in August of last year, we realized that the house is, I mean, it just popped. The property popped with, uh, with its beauty just from uh, these trees being gone. And their neighbors, the Radzinskis, also had a firewise plan made for their home and have been clearing trees, limbs, and brush from their property. Firefighters working on structure protection in Cooper Landing were pleasantly surprised with what they found. Well, when they first, the first group come in uh, with, with chainsaws to do the limbing and get things off the ground, and I think they were here for five minutes because they said we had it pretty well taken care of, so they didn't. They could go on to help other properties in. Firefighters are still hard at work in Cooper Landing and surrounding communities. Despite the reduced threat from the Swan Lake fire, it's still a good time to consider how your property could benefit from the FireWise program. More information is available from your local fire department, the Alaska Division of Forestry, or online at websites like firewise.org.